What's up, taters? This is Tree from TreeofLogic.com, and welcome to the Tree Top News for this Monday, July the 25th. Thank you so much for coming and watch me. You could have been anywhere, but you came here to watch my video, and I'm very, very much appreciative. By the way, thank you guys for coming by to the stream last night. Well, yeah, last night that I had on a tree show, or was it, what did I call it? Sunday Madness, sorry, I got so many shows, I'm just, I can't keep up with them. We had a ball. <laughs> I was inside, and I'm still in a good mood. Man, we was just doing a lot of chit-chatting and talking and really having a good time with each other, and I really appreciate that. And most of all, I really appreciate you guys engaging with me. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this treetop series. And of course, we always started with international news enjoy okay let's start off with some china and russia Russia, 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 Russia. Let's start off with them. Now, you all know I've been basically keeping you guys up to date on what's been going on with BRICS, right? Well, it looks like China and Russia are about to do their own thing in addition to BRICS. Russia and China creating a new global reserve currency expected, uh, expected severe negative impact on the United States dollar. Now, what's been going on is that there's been a lot of tension, as you all know, between China and America. America, keep, just like how Ukraine keep poking the bear. Well, I mean, yeah, Ukraine keep poking the bear. Well, America keeps poking the, you know, the panda bear. All right. And <clears throat> we about to send uh, nasty Nancy drunk Pelosi and her dentures over there to Taiwan. And I got that story coming up. So a lot of the countries outside of the Western countries, and when I talk about Western countries, we're talking about Canada, United States, uh, New Zealand, Australia, the UK, as well as the EU, they have noticed that, uh, that other countries outside of the Western countries have noticed that Russia has been able to be self-sufficient and their economy was not destroyed when they put a lot of the sanctions, sanctions, sanctions. Uh, what they did to Venezuela, they was not able to do to Russia. And therefore, a lot of countries outside these westernized countries decided that, hey, if anybody can protect us from America, when they would decide they want to sanction us and they basically gather together like bullies and try to destroy our economy, that maybe we, should, we can depend upon another currency reserve besides the dollar. Now, whether they're going to create a new one or they're going to just choose either the ruble or the wand, I don't know. But they are meeting together to basically make sure that they are sanction proof and they have a lot of countries on their side. Do you know I learned something? I learned that they want Nigeria to join in. And here's something. I learned that Nigeria is about to have just as many people in this country than America have in our country. I was like, Nigeria is that big? Clearly got got to be fake news. Now I never did get a chance. I was reading the paper. I was reading the the article, and it was like Nigeria is about to outpopulate the United States. And I never did fact check it. But you know what? Let me know if I'm wrong. Then they haven't outpopulated the United States yet, but they're about close to it and they are a power to be reckoned with and that's what china and uh, uh russia want them on board and nigeria is thinking about it so i will keep you guys updated on what will come about this in the near future so let's move on now y'all remember i did that story about Zelenska? okay that heifer you know when she came over here telling me something we need more weapons too so the babies can go to bed and be nice and safe with the blankets over anyway i was like why is she here we just gave ukraine more money that they don't need that we need <clears throat> but you're not putting america first but i never put america first we put america last and then we gave them more weapons and the next day the next day she over here to myself 
more weapons, please. More weapons, please. Well, honey, guess what? She left empty-handed with a big old rejection. Biden administration holds off on sending long-range armed drones to Ukraine. By the way, let's go to the best telegram that we have. It's just my telegram, okay? I have all the juicy news, okay? Nationally and internationally, westernized as well as over there on the east. And I was like, yes, that woman left here empty-handed with a big old zero, okay? Now, she probably left here with one of uh, Jill Biden's ugly dresses, but I'm not here to gossip. Biden administration so far refrains from transferring long-range strike UAVs to Kyiv, the Wall Street Journal states. According to newspapers, this refrains refers to the MQ-1C, I think I pronounced that correctly, uh, Gray Eagle model, which Ukraine has already asked for two months ago, and it was rejected. <laughs> losers, losers, dude. You got, well, I, Ukraine is like a spoiled baby. Can I have some long-range missiles? No. Can I have some long-range missiles? Can I, can I have some long-range uh, missiles? No. You know what I'm saying? Plead, no. Plead, no. Baby, baby, plead. No, no, no. And they just keep asking. They keep begging. This is the most beggingest country in the world. And I don't know why we're giving all that money to them. The White House fears that this technique could end up in the hands of the Russian army if the Ukrainian forces are defeated. Well, this is true because the high Mars that they was talking about that they were so happy to get from America, guess who got it now? Russia. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the deal. I don't know if Russia bought it from somebody from the black market, but somebody in the black market have a lot of these weapons. Even the Pentagon has agreed that a lot of weapons that the westernized countries give to Ukraine somehow mysteriously end up in the black market. <clears throat> How did that happen? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so... Russia has it. They they showed that they had it. They showed videotapes, video footage, as well as uh, pictures that they had that the brand new high Mars that they had just sent uh, from America to Ukraine. And what they won't tell is if they b was able to take it from one of the many platoons or squads from the Ukrainian army that just basically gave up or were just destroyed. <clears throat> and every time that happens, they always take the weapons. Or if it was sold to Russia from somebody within the black market, regardless of why, how and, and when they got it and how they got it, they got it. So now America's realized, man, every time we give them weapons, it's either destroyed by Russia or taken by Russia. So they don't really want them. And by the way, Russia is, is dismantling their home high Mars and trying to study a lot of these Western weapons that are being sent to Ukraine. And now Russia has been able to study it and probably, you know, improve it and put it on some steroids and make it better. So that is, uh, this is a legitimate concern, I have to admit. And uh, yeah, it's it's just, you know, <clears throat> what's the point, dude? It's just a, I don't know, man. There's a lot of things I can't say on the YouTubes, but let me just tell you this. If you're winning, you wouldn't be begging for weapons since March. That's all I got to say. That's all. You wouldn't be begging for money and, and weapons if you doing all this winning. All right, here we go. Uh, let's see. Ukraine will recapture Kyrgyzstan by September. <laughs> what? <laughs> I swear to God, guys, this time we really gonna win now. We, we gonna get back all the land that Russia done took. <laughs> September gets here. September gets here. We gonna do it by October. Oh, October get here. We gonna do it by November. Oh, we gonna do it by December. I'm so done with this. <laughs> we really gonna get back here soon by September. Okay, boss. All right, whatever. China heightens warning to United States over possible House Speaker's Pelosi visit to Taiwan. Uh, China has issued stark private warnings to the Biden administration about a possible trip to Taiwan in August by United States House of Representative Speaker Nancy Pelosi, the Financial Times reported on Saturday. The report cited six, pe six people familiar with the Chinese warnings 
as saying they were significantly, significantly stronger than the threats that Beijing has made in the past when it was unhappy with the United States actions or policies on Taiwan, which is claimed by China. <clears throat> um, they not playing this time. So I wonder what Nancy Pelosi going to do this time. Last time she claimed COVID. I wonder how she's going to get out of this one. If she gets out of this one. I mean, <laughs> she could get on that plane, y'all. The private rhetoric suggested a possible military response. Ooh. The Financial Times cited several people familiar with the situations are saying the White House National Security Council and the State Department declined to comment on the report. China has been stepping up military activity around Taiwan, seeking to pressure the democratically elected government there to accept Chinese sovereignty. Taiwan's government says only the island's 23 million people can decide their future. And while it wants peace, will defend itself if attacked. On July the 18th, the Financial Times reported that Pelosi plans to visit Taiwan in August. A day later, China's foreign ministry said that a visit to Taiwan by Pelosi would seriously undermine China's sovereignty and territorial and territorial integrity, and the United States would bear the consequences of its response. <clears throat> I don't think y'all want that smoke, do you? Y'all yeah, don't want that smoke. Do y'all yeah, really want that smoke? On Wednesday, United States President Joe Biden, or AKA Brandon, said he plans to speak with the Chinese President Xi Jinping ting, 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 by the end of the month. Biden appeared to cast doubt on the reported Pelosi trip to Taiwan. Oh, they about to get, <laughs> he claiming doubt now. So that means she not gonna go. That's me, she not. I think that the military thinks. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> Let me do it like. I think that the military thinks it's not a good idea right now, but I don't know what the status of it is. Do you got any girls for me to smell? Or what about some vanilla ice cream? Okay. Um, I knew it. I knew it. They don't want that smoke from China. China, I, from my understanding, this is their last warning. And I think that trip is supposed to happen in two weeks and it may not happen because China had threatened to shoot that plane down. And you know, was that, I don't even know. I don't even know if uh, America would retaliate, you know, be like, dad, Nancy, we really going to miss you. Bye. Anyway. All right. That concludes international news. <laughs> Hope you had as much fun as I did. Now let's move over to national and local news. Okay, taters, as you all know, during the national and local news segment, I normally do a lot of news dumps by just reading the headlines. I may read a paragraph or two, but there's some very interesting articles in here that I think I'm going to do more reading than I am news dumps. So let's see if we can get through this as, as much as possible, because there's some very interesting articles that I selected for this segment here. Uh, exclusive Joe Biden is filling up main hotels to house his illegal migrants. Illegals get better government freebies than low income U S workers. Joe Biden is filling up main hotels with his illegal migrants. In case you were wondering where the millions of illegals who have walked across our open borders are ending up they're in your backyard. This morning, a Maine reader sent this tip to the Gateway Pundit. I have driven by the coast, uh, coast, Costco Bay in on Route uh, 1 in Freeport, Maine a number of times. I noticed, quote, no vacancy sign, but only a couple of cars in the parking lot. That's odd. I thought, especially in the summer of Maine. This morning as I drove by, I noticed a medium-sized bus with quote lake region transportation printed on the side about a dozen or so individuals got off the bus who didn't appear to be native to the 
whitest state in America. <laughs> Unfortunately, I couldn't stop the car and, tra and traffic to take a photo. I later called to inquire if the inn had any availability for this weekend. When the receptionist said no, I asked her about next weekend. She then said, we have 46 rooms and we're, and we're filled with a long-term stay group. I then said, good for your business. Good for you. Business must be good. And ended the call. Nice place, man. I wonder who might be paying the tab. We know who's paying the tab. We are. Supreme Court blocks Biden's border policy limiting agents' ability to detain illegal aliens. The Department of Homeland Security issued immigration enforcement guidelines back in September of 2021, making it harder for agents to detain illegal aliens. Uh... The new guidelines told immigration authorities to use discretion regarding which illegal aliens they detain. Part of the guideline states that being in the United States illegally alone should not be a reason to be to be in detained. Yes, you, you're breaking the law. Holy smokes, I cannot believe it. The, the Democrats really do love criminals. Lawsuits were filed over this, and the Supreme Court just dealt a massive blow to the Biden administration. The Supreme Court allowed a Texas federal judge to block the guidelines. The United States court gave Texas and Louisiana's temporary legal victory in the border state attempt to strike down the September 2021 Biden administration immigration guideline. The Supreme Court, in a ruling without explanation on Thursday, allowed the federal judge in Texas to block the Biden administration's immigration guidelines guideline that according to the border states uh, prosecutors limits the ability of border agents to detain and deport illegal aliens aka illegal immigrants the ruling is a political setback for the Biden administration as it tries to juggle an unprecedented surge of illegal immigration overburdening immigration and custom enforcement also known as ICE and an agenda to replace the Trump administration's more stringent border policies amid bipartisan criticism you will be voted out come November you got only what how many more minutes they got they got let's see let's see this is July no no July is almost over August September October mm. They got several months to try to destroy our country. Here's something I did not know. And this is the reason why I picked this article. Because I was like, what? That can, that's a thing? Heat decreases solar power efficiency. I did not know that. I would think that if you make a solar panel, panel one of the things that it can withstand is heat. Because it's placed in the sun. But I guess... I guess not. Anyway, expert says too hot for solar panels to handle. Uh, the whole point of solar energy is to create clear, clean energy in a cost efficient manner. Apparently that is still not the case when the sun is too hot and the panels can't do their job, which is a complete and total bust. An expert told daily mail solar, solar, like sunshine but solar solar likes sunshine but it doesn't like being hot wow we always get the best performance in spring when the air is cool and the skies are is really clear professor oh my gosh there's no way i'm going to be pronouncing this first name uh bucky we'll just call it, yeah professor something something bucky from uh sheffield solar at the university of sheffield told mail online quote we're very likely to see any solar records broken this week simply because it's too it's so hot and solar panels are least efficient in the heat the more and more i learn about quote unquote clean energy the more i don't want to have nothing to do with it but guess what it even gets better electric bus bursts into flames during East Coast heat wave one day after Connecticut governor requires all future state vehicles to run on electric power. <laughs> on Saturday morning during the heat wave that swept the East Coast, a new electric electrically powered public transportation bus caught on fire as it sat in the bus parking lot. Wait a minute, it was just sitting there and it caught on fire? 
The hard, the hardened fire department was dispatched to the Connecticut Transit Bus dep Depot in order to extinguish the fire that had spread throughout the electric bus. Wow. According to the authorities, it is still unclear if the lithium iron battery was responsible for the fire that broke out on the electric bus. I'm never going to get one of these things. Mm-mm. Mm -mm, baby no nah, y'all can have these lithium lithium ion battery fires are difficult to extinguish due to the thermochemical process that produce great heat and continually reignites the fire official said in a statement exposures were protected uh ex exposures were protected at the scene Two CT transit uh, workers were transported as a precaution from the exposures to the smoke. So the smoke is even deadly from the dead gone battery. And one firefighter was transported for heat exhaustion. Oh, man, I don't know about this guy. Mm -hmm. Medical examiners revealed, reveals 24-year-old uh, ex-Miami Hurricanes football player uh, passed away of a heart attack. He was um, 24 years old. Heart attack. Moving on. Florida lawmaker seeks to ban libs of TikTok from Shopify over... Oh, this woman is something else, honey. Um... She's trying to, I don't know why they, they hate, well, I do know why they hate Libs of TikTok, but this is a demon rat out of Florida, and uh, Libs of TikTok has a Shopify store, and this heifer is tweeting at Shopify, talking about some, uh, are you going to allow someone who has been a, uh, a been, what did she, I can't remember, hold up, here we go, but this is not the only tweet, she's tweeted three times to Shopify. This is just one of the tweets. I'm horrified that a government official and who is this is using her position to oh wait 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 no this is not this is somebody clowning her. This is somebody clowning her. Let's see. Where's the tweet? I think this is the tweet right here. This chick right here. I think yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So right here, you know, they're trying to get, um, they're trying to get lives of TikTok, as you can see right here, uh, her Shopify store taken down for hateful conduct, but there's nothing hateful on shop. This is, this is her thing. Her lives of TikTok store. She just has, uh, her logo on there and they're saying that's hateful, hateful conduct. So, so they've been like going after her. This this chick right here, they've been going after her like she's trying to get uh, lives a TikTok uh, store cancel from Shopify. So far, Shopify has been ignoring them, but uh, you know how these people are. They so jealous that lives a TikTok is. I think lives a TikTok should be a millionaire by now. All the love that she's been getting. Uh, what's for dinner? Demons at the New York Times are now pushing cannibalism, insist insisting the time is now. So we move from eating bugs to eating human beings? Really? And y'all want these people to reproduce. Cannibalism has a time and a place. Some recent books, films, and shows suggest that the time is now. Can you stomach, stomach it? Uh, that would be a no. But you liberals and Democrats can feel free to eat each other. You know, go at it, dude. Go at it. And <laughs> it has been news and nobody thinking about you. Pat Benatar says she won't perform Hit me with your best shot song out of difference to the victims of mass shootings. Does this woman still tour? I don't think anybody knows her music except for Boomers and Generation X. I mean, seriously, for some reason, I thought Pat Benadar, Bennett, Benatar had passed away from some drug overdose. I really did. I was like, wait a minute, she's still alive? Y'all need to find 
a cure to white guilt. Please, please. And who in their right mind is still paying to hear this woman saying? I just don't know. Anyway, but don't worry, Pat. Nobody cares about you. You a has been, and uh, you cannot sing it no more. But we prefer the original uh, version when you was young and nice looking, okay? Anyway, that concludes national and local news. Let's move over to social media news now. There have been some right-leaning or right-wing um, YouTube channels that deals with strictly with the news and politics. We understand that Fox is just can't be trusted i don't like fox um so the only thing they got good going for them is tucker carlson uh news newsmax used to be the thing until they sold out and ntd broke my heart when they started pushing anti-russian propaganda so that hurts i'm still going through therapy for that one right there but there have been two news networks that are right-leaning that i have enjoyed uh, OAN and RSBN, which is the Right Side Broadcasting new Network. And uh, RSBN has been one of the few, if not, uh, I would have to say along them along with Newsmax, but I, I don't mess with no Newsmax, that uh, have been showing a lot of Trump's rallies and a lot of his broadcasting. So they have been true to that. Now, I'm going to show you something that they did on YouTube. Uh, YouTube takes down RSBN's Trump Arizona rally live feed video just minutes before President Trump hit the stage. 236,000 people were watching live. So somebody, some evil person at YouTube was standing there with their finger on the button waiting until trump got on stage and as soon as they did they hit the button and of course this has happened to the live stream for no reason there was no uh there was no um strike to their channel um uh, just, just the stream just cut off but like i said I, you know when trump wins again i hope he has the acorns to finally do something about this because this is just getting out of hand you're just gonna take somebody off because there's some you know trump's not banned on on a on anybody else's channel for making appearance in rallies you means if you really look at um uh as you can really look at it you can see there was a rally like no where's the rally there was a trump rally hold on a second there was one Hold on, let me go. Oh, here we go, right here. Okay, so they had one here. They also had one on the homepage. Hold on a second, let me look on the home. Here we go, Sarasota rally. Okay, that was a year ago though. Hold on, that, that's that's not anyway. But they 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 show some of Trump's rallies. Also, this is a heavy Christian channel too. That's another reason why YouTube doesn't like it. And if you have this many people watching live you're just hating because you can't even get biden to watch that many people president donald trump is speaking tonight in uh, prescott valley arizona president donald trump's uh 45th president of the united states of america delivered remarks in support of carrie lake for governor blake masters for the united states senate and the entire arizona tr on and the entire Arizona Trump ticket. Uh, the live stream video was live on YouTube at least until YouTube took it down. And as you can see, they, that was the video right here as they took this down. This has to stop, dude. Rumble still has the live stream video playing. So I'm going, if you want to see that rally, I will leave a link to this article right here because here's the, here is the Rumble live stream right here. And he wants to get out here and talk and speak his yeah. There you go. Our children are captives to unhinged Marxist educators. Where do they come from? They come from crazy liberal women who voted for Biden, Trump. Anyway, uh, if you want to see this, I will leave a link available in the description box below. Um, something has to be done about this. This is crazy. I, I, 
you guys just let YouTube just get too powerful and now you can't even watch Trump doing a rally. That's crazy. And I, I don't want to, let me just say this and I'm going to end this segment. I just don't want to put all the faith into Rumble either. I, even though I do pay uh, to do live streams there because it's a, it's a very good prize. I don't trust Rumble either. I just don't. And uh, something has to be done. But anyway, this is this is something that's an issue. And I hope they put it into it now or when he gets in office. Let, anyway, let me know what you think. Did you also watch the rally? Let me know what you think as well. Uh, Trump's always good entertainer. So I know every one of his rallies are great. Anyway, so that concludes social media news. And there you have it, taters. The conclusion to the treetop news for this Monday, July the 25th. Don't forget to join me later on tonight or this evening at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time for my treehouse news. This is when I get lots of news. We go through it in details. And um, probably like, I think we go over at least 20 uh, different news items uh, ranging from international to national to local news. And we have a, a lot of fun. So if you're watching this tonight, well, if you're watching this in the morning or in the afternoon, be sure to come and ch to check me out at 8 o'clock p.m. So tune in at 8 o'clock p.m. with me, uh, Eastern Time. Uh, if you're looking at this any other time outside of Monday, then remember that my streaming hours are every Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I will also be uploading my treetop news Monday through Friday. So let me know what you think. I really appreciate you guys coming by and supporting these videos. And I think I made it only 40 minutes. Anyway, this is Tree from TreeOfLogic.com. Remember, be sure to comment in the comment section. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know what you're thinking. Also, don't forget to leave a like and share this video. I will see you either tonight on one of my live streams or I'll see you in the comment section in the next video. Later, taters. 